let's get rid of all that stuff. Let's just go ahead and get started this evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Those of you who are with me here in the studio, I'm glad that you could join me on this uh, fabulous uh, Wednesday evening. If you lived uh, anywhere around me, this was our nicest uh, day of the year. Totally sunny, nice and warm. Uh, just a hint of a breeze. A beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. And now I get to spend my time with you all here in studio to end my day. So that's fantastic too. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to paint this guy over here. I happen to be walking, uh, as I do, every Saturday and Sunday morning or most Saturday and Sunday mornings down to the ocean. And I didn't see, I didn't see this guy in particular, but I walked past a, uh, a little fish uh, restaurant a uh, fish house in our town, in my town, and there happened to be two of these uh, just kind of <laughs> sitting, sleeping. Well, one of them was, was sleeping. One of them was, was looking at the uh, tourists. Uh, I was about three, four, five feet away from them. I could, <laughs> if I leaned over the railing, I probably could have touched one of them. Not that I would do that. They're, they're huge, massive beasts, uh, but that was a lot of fun. To see that so i thought well why not let's give it a chance to paint a couple of people are coming in now liza tracy dana are all here welcome welcome good to see you all uh i've pre-drawn there you go just a rough outline uh of my sea lion on my paper again i'm using fabriano studio watercolor paper i got my normal colors over here to my right and these are m graham uh, studio watercolors and I think today I'm gonna start with whoa let me get my Raphael brush I, I actually very much like this brush and we'll put on just a nice loose wet uh, sky here and I'm just gonna dip into the colors that I have already on my palette this is a some sort of blue mixture I'm just gonna add some uh, cobalt blue to that and get a nice mix and I'm gonna put this on nice and wet and let this run all around on here and I'm just gonna kind of try to stay out of my drawing just a little bit if I just go over the edges that's fine that's not a big deal Susie is here hello Susie good to see you again and as always for anybody in the chat, if you have any questions, throw them out there. I do love answering questions. I like to make this as interactive as possible. <laughs> if there get to be a few people in there or I get a little busy and I, I stop for a minute and don't look up, just be a little patient with me as I, as I am doing this all by myself. And sometimes uh, there's, a, there's a bit to do. Tom is here too. Hello, Tom. Thanks for joining. Great to have you here. Uh, and I'm just going to do this, you know, pretty much wet and wet. I'm going to paint everything. I know there's a little bit of a background, uh, far distant, not really a background, a, a little distant shoreline on the image that we're taking this from. And you can see that up in the corner there. There's a couple of maybe a couple of layers there, but... I'm just going to paint right over top of everything here. And if you want to see uh, that image a little bigger, um, I do post those on my Discord server. So you can go and grab that. Sometimes, uh, sometimes folks want to grab that. Uh, it takes them a little bit more time to, to draw it out. They want just to have that reference photo to allow themselves a little extra time, you can go to my Discord server and grab that. The link, <laughs> I think it's the right link, um, should be down below in the comments. And while we're talking about it, anybody who uh, is watching in replay and they want to say something about this, please throw it in chat. We'll do my best to respond to it. Uh, Susie says, magic eraser and water will Lighten your watercolor painting. <laughs> it 
It does do it. You do have to be careful a little bit with magic watercolor because, or magic watercolor <laughs> with magic eraser because it, you push down too on too hard and it will eat right through your paper. But you're exactly right. It will, uh, it will take a little layer off the top of your painting if you would like to do so. I'm going to drop in some color here for this rock. I should say I've got a couple of colors you can see on my palette currently. Uh, I was playing around yesterday and did a super quick, uh, pretty loose um, take on this uh, on this guy. If you if anybody wants to see that, I'll pull it up. I've got it over here. I was trying to to paint quite quickly and quite loosely and uh, trying not to focus on any one particular detail. Uh, and I, I actually think it turned out pretty well. So if anybody wants to see that, just let me know. I'll reach over and pick it up and pull it out and we can take a look at it. The only thing I didn't do with it, uh, right at the end, which I sh probably should have done, was to um, do some finer, finer details <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> yes, good for a light touch is required and good for some of that ex uh, some of the little splatter that maybe you didn't want. That's a good point. I've got a line on my screen. There we go. That's come off. So you, Tracy, you would love to see it. Okay, cool. Uh, while I'm waiting for this to dry, this is a great time to grab it. Here it is, and I just painted it on the back of, of a painting we've done previously. Before I show you, I'm just going to say this painting took, I bet, all of 10 minutes tops. Um, and that pretty much includes the drying time. But I just wanted to see if I could do it and I could get a little bit of detail on there. So it was kind of, but it was kind of a fun exercise to do. But here he is. So I think if I went in and I, you know, I, if I did his eye and I didn't put any of the whiskers on, but I think for a 10 minute painting, you, you really get the idea. And I guess I didn't get his flipper nearly long enough down here. I wasn't paying attention to that, but you totally get the idea of what we got there. So, um, you know, this is what you could do. You could easily do any, anybody watching this could easily do this in... 10, 15 minutes, depending on drying time. Um, Michelle is here. Hello, Michelle. Welcome. Thanks for making it. As always, <laughs> Tracy says, nice. Thank you. As always, uh, if you have any questions, Michelle, throw them out there. I love, um, I love answering questions. I like to try to make this as interactive as possible. I can already feel my voice <clears throat> breaking a little bit. So just give me one moment. Liza, you say you like fast little paintings. There's something about them. Painting quickly. You can't get too much into the weeds. Um, you've got to go real fast. I actually painted that with these two brushes, right? This is the largest uh, King Art brush. This is a size 12. Now, this is this is a much bigger brush, or not, not necessarily a lot bigger, but it holds a, a lot more water. This is a size 4, but you get the idea. I did. I certainly didn't paint any of that with a with a tiny little brush, like one of these two, right? You can see the relative size there. So, uh, some of the things you can do. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into, um, because I think this is dry enough around the the edges, painting this guy. And I'm as I look at this guy, as I look at this sea line, I want to kind of control my water on my palette here. Uh, and I look at him, he's got up around his face up here, um, on his cheek, above his eye, above his ear over here. He's actually a pretty light color. And I want to see if I can leave a lot of that lightness on here. 
Actually, I'm going to go a little bit yellower on here. I don't know that yellow is exactly the right color, but I don't think it's going to matter. We just want to get some color on this guy. So he's got some really light colors up towards his head up here. And then as we work down his body, there's still kind of a yellow undertone. But there definitely gets to be a bit of a change. And we see that there is uh, quite a bit of red in his body. When, as I looked at this and as I started to paint this, you know, albeit quickly last night, I was shocked at how much red and orange... Um, I actually saw in this, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna mix any red in this first layer, but I'm gonna put a little orange in here. I'm gonna orange this up a little bit. Let's see. Um, somebody else. Oh, Natalie is here. Hello, Natalie. <laughs> Tracy, I'm just looking back. You said awesome for only ten minutes. Wait, that's about what it was. Um, and then, you know, those are fun. Anyway, this guy. Got some red, and if you look on his back back here, there's actually a fair amount of blue back there. I can't tell. I guess it doesn't matter all that much. If that blue is really blue on the sea lion, or if part of that is reflected light on his back. See, I'm going to mix all my colors that I've got on my palette here, except that green, because I've got some red in there already looks like i've gotten a hair on my paper there we go just as i come down here a little bit i'm going to get a little bit more red and the red i used yesterday i'll be honest with you it was uh it was <laughs> i had to think for a second the word was escaping me it was a lizard and crimson so i was mixing a fair amount of alizarin crimson with my burnt uh, umber and that's how I got the brown that's on that reddish brown look that was on the one I just showed I'm happy to show it again if anybody wants to see it again <clears throat> but he's got or she's got I guess I could be a could be a girl sea lion a sea lioness if that's what you call them, I only really heard to them referred to as sea lions, but I guess we should call them both ways. And now I've forgotten what I was just what I was just saying. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Anyway, let's get this first layer of paint on here, and then let's take a look and see what we've got, and we'll map out a plan for our next layer. Okay, there we go. I think that's pretty good. I do have, I can see it starting, and you can probably see it too. I'll show you. A little bit of a bloom starting here, and I've got a little bit of a bloom here trying to raise that up so you can see it there you, you can see it there and I'm betting you I'm gonna get one back here um, and I'm also who take a deep breath I'm also not gonna worry about it two reasons one this is our just our initial layer this is our lightest layer we're gonna paint over top of this and we might not see those again and two if I try to go back over top of that with this paper uh, I'm going to make some terrible marks. <laughs> I'm going to spend 10 minutes chasing it, and I don't think we need to do that. Plus, I just grabbed it again. Plus, when I did this guy, I know that right up in here somewhere, and I can't see it right now, right up in here somewhere I had uh, a bloom when I did this, and... It just kind of went away. But you can see on this one, whoop, let me grab something to point with. I tried to get into the back here a little darker, a little bluer color, and along here a little warmer color. And then I don't know how well it worked out. I tried to put some, I tried to pull a little color off 
on his flipper uh, along here. I think I tried to pull some off around his eye. I don't know how well that worked. I actually want to go back and finish this one up now. I think <laughs> I think this would look pretty good. If I just gave some better definition to his nose, put in some whiskers, I would use my white to do that. Uh, gave him a definite eye and a little bit on his ear there. I think he'd look fantastic. I think he'd look pretty good. I'm going to put that over there just in case we need to bring that back again tonight. So, uh, what, are, what are we going to do here? Okay, so as I'm looking at the image, and I've, I've got it, whoop, I've got it, as I'm looking, <laughs> it's over here. We've got a dark area underneath his chin up here, and we've got a dark area kind of on the back of his flipper down to underneath and down his body here we've got some darker areas on the edges around the flipper so we'll be sure to put those in and this whole flipper over here gets darkened up and then we've got some fun lines we can paint uh you can see where it is there are almost striations on him there actually before we do that you know what let's he's dry enough we let's let's put just let's put just a little distant hill back here right i don't know somewhere something like this i probably shouldn't have put it here that kind of uh, bisects the whole <laughs> painting but that's okay that's all right Just get a little blue and a little green in here. We're going to mix them up. And suddenly, everybody's going quiet again. Suddenly, it's all quiet. Always makes me a little nervous. I look up and everybody's, <laughs> everybody's quiet. You're all going to tell me you're paying rapt attention to what I'm saying. I don't know if I believe that, but... I used to have such trouble with my with my connection, my internet connection out here in the studio, that it, it bothers me when I don't when I can't see anything, nobody's saying anything. I know you're there. <laughs> All my connections look good. <laughs> good, Natalie. A, a gorgeous day in Phoenix. I'm so happy. Oh, let's talk about it. Wait a minute. So. Natalie, you're from Phoenix. Did you go out and see the eclipse? Uh, you wouldn't have had full totality. Who? Uh, let's do that. Let's ask that question. Who here got to see the eclipse on Monday? It's a great topic for debate. I we're watching in awe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't get to see the eclipse. I've seen eclipses before. I didn't get to see this one. I was, I was working and couldn't get away. But that's okay. I hope you all, or some of you all, anyways, got to get out and see it. I hope you were able to enjoy it. It's. I think the next one that we're going to have... Susie, you traveled to Ohio to get to see it. Wow. Uh, where did you go to in Ohio? To be able to see it. Uh, the last time I saw an eclipse, I was in Ohio for it. I was in Columbus, Ohio. And I don't remember what part of the day it happened, but I walked outside. I was working on, a, on Ohio State's campus at the time. Walked outside and got to see it. And then it got dark and we, <laughs> we all watched it and went back in. I saw the pearl chain and the diamond too oh that's cool tracy you're in texas did you see it did you <laughs> i hope you went outside uh to check it out the next one's not coming to the continental u.s until the 20 2040 something so i'm <laughs> it's just i love stuff like that i think it's so cool 
Let's see. Oh, Sherry's here. And Z ZC is here. <clears throat> That's fantastic. Uh, let's see. What are we talking about? Let's catch uh, Sherry and ZC up. We're talking about the eclipse. <laughs> I am, anyways. Um, and I hope I hope everybody got to see. I just want to say that I hope everybody got to see it. If if you have any interest in that kind of thing, it's something that happens so uh, infrequently. Tracy, you saw it. I hope it was. I hope it was as exciting as I have it built up to be in my mind. <laughs> Oh, Natalie, so that's, you saw a dip in your solar power reading, so that's something I don't know that I would have necessarily thought of. Um, yeah, as the sun dips, it doesn't have to dip much, and that blocks your sun out, and you have uh, less power you can generate. Oh, that's interesting. And now I'm mad. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I love solar power. I also observed the dip. Oh, I'm sorry. I read the same thing. Oh, you also saw a dip in your solar power. That's that's really cool. Okay. Where are we at now? I think this guy's pretty dry. I just copied kind of from our reference photo over there. Some of the background here. I don't know that it makes all that much difference. I'm not going to bother. I know there's like a bigger hill back up here. I don't I don't know that we gain anything by putting that on. But I want to give him a little background here. And then I just dropped some water in up here. And it's not anything exciting. It's a little ultramarine blue here mixed with a little bit of Payne's Gray just to darken it down a little bit. And as it comes to me, I'm just letting it lighten up a little bit. And for some reason, that's going to make it look like the water is further away where it's darker and a little closer where it's lighter. Um, and, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. And hopefully, I, I think if I've done this right when we're done, you, when you look at it, you don't even see any of that background there. It's just there. <laughs> Sherry says, I saw a 90% solar eclipse in NL, I'm assuming is New Zealand in 1963. Three, I was 10 years old and will never forget it. Wow. Um, that's cool. I, I know I'm never going to forget the one I saw. So that's why I'm so excited. <laughs> if anybody else gets to see him, I'm like, it's really cool. It's really cool. How are we doing here? Okay. This is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> this guy's pretty yellow over here, right? There's a lot of yellow. There's a lot of yellow in our in our rock here. We'll we'll do some more with this. But when you look at him, there's a lot of orange and red all up and down his front side here. So I'm gonna start layering in some of that. Oh, Newfoundland. <clears throat> or as or as I like to say, Newfoundland. <laughs> Newfoundland. Uh, Canada, Newfoundland, Canada. Um, I'm sorry, I got something stuck in my teeth here. Uh, that's cool. And and you said it was 90, 90%, which is actually extremely cool too. The fact that it's so close to uh, total um, and at 90% and above, things start to happen. So you can see... Uh, the the what I remember I, the the um, the light changed, but it seemed as though the air quality changed along with it, and uh, it was a it was a singularly odd experience for me, one I will not soon forget. And, um, yeah, we were at 90 some percent, the last, the one I saw, and it was, it was, uh, it was pretty fantastic. I, something I won't hopefully never forget. It's not going to say I won't ever forget it. Let's say <laughs> it might even been 99%. Wow. That's 99 is pretty cool. Okay. So. 
can see what I'm doing here, and maybe I got a little, maybe I got a little too aggressive with it. Let me dry my brush just a little bit, but you can see what I'm trying to do here. There's a lot of red in here. Let me actually put a little bit of brown in here too. Let's brown this down. Actually, you know what I can do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop just a touch of blue in here. And that's gonna push that little bit back a little bit. Let's make sure, let's set ourselves up for a bit of success here and make sure that this part of him is back behind that flipper. I'm gonna turn this over in just a second. You'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. I wanna pull this out a little bit. There we go. All right. So you can see now, uh, his, his stomach down here, really nice and dark. It's got that little bit of blue in it, and that's going to push, that's going to push that part back behind this, this flipper, right? That's his stomach here is going to back, be back behind this. <clears throat> now we will have to take care of this flipper in the back, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it felt, oh, Natalie say. It felt gloomy for you. That's interesting. Uh, let's see, see. I didn't have glasses, so I made a box. Cool. Oh, but you missed it. Ugh. So disappointing. I won't be on this earth for the next one. Ugh. Well, the good news is, is we live in today's day and age, and we can see it again on YouTube here or other places. I, like I said, I was stuck in an office and I was forced to watch it on YouTube while my boss was, uh, well, hang on, let me look. <laughs> Can I see, is anybody, is anybody I work with here? While my boss was doling out assignments to <laughs> myself and a couple of, uh, teammates, <clears throat> I had, I had the internet up on the side and was busily checking out the Eclipse. I hope nobody from work is going to hear that and <laughs> turn me in. Uh, you think it'll dry back perfectly this part here? I think it's going to that's going to look so cool as that dries. Let's see. I want to give him a little bit of color over here around his eye. And then I'm going to and then I'm going to blend this out up on the top. And then we're gonna we're gonna work on his lower half down here. Let's give this a little blend. I think I've got just a little too much moisture in in that. We look kind of like look kind of like that reference photo. Definitely got too much moisture here. I can see it, and I don't want to get a back run on this layer, so I'm going to dab a little bit of that out. All right. I think that looks good. All right? It's not, the, the shading isn't uh, exactly that, but I think you get the idea. And then we can come down here. Let's see what we can let's see what kind of damage we can do down here. All right, again, I want to keep this uh, a little different than the than his flipper. So, well, I, I want to put some more blue on here. And I, I guess I, let me say when I when I put the blue on there, it was ultramarine blue. The brown that I'm using is my burnt umber. It's been in my palette for a long time, and the red, that 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 bright red that's on here, that is um oh I forgot it again. Uh, permanent alizarin crimson. Why I can't remember that I don't know. Permanent alizarin crimson, and then that orangey, that bright pop of orange that's on here. Well, that's orange. Um, it's, it's azo orange and azo orange is pretty bright. There's no doubt about that. It's a bright color. 
But this guy's out on a bright sunny day. He's basking in the sun, I think. I think he would enjoy having some bright colors. So I'm going to leave them as bright colors. Okay, so I've got some color on here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take just a little bit of my ultramarine and drop it in here. And then I'm going to move it around a little bit. Because I want... I want that color temperature, that color feel, to be just a little different than, it, than it's going to be for his flipper. There we go. Let's pull that up and around. Good, good, good. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. It has a very burnt sienna feel feel natalie oh why do you say things to me like that now we're going to start talking colors again i don't actually honest to god i'm not well i i know that in my m gram paints i don't even have burnt sienna I'm trying to think where i do have it now i want to do a comparison <laughs> i'm i know i've got it in a set but I have that set in my car just in case I want to do some watercolor painting uh, as I'm driving around somewhere. So it's, oh, so it's, so it's a little hard. I honestly, I don't use burnt sienna all that much. So it's a little difficult for me to say, okay, but, but look, I think he's looking good. I think he's looking good. Uh, I'm going to wait just a second before I dive in. I actually, I really like the way he's looking so far. A couple more layers. Uh, we'll add a little bit more detail onto him, but from what from what I see right now, like, you know, PR, Pigment Red 101, you, <laughs> Pigment Red 101, um... In mine is pigment brown number seven, my burnt umber. <sighs> Why do you do this to me? I want to go. I want to go over and check it out. I've got all my other paints across the studio over there. Maybe if we get to a point that we need to take a little break, I'll run over and grab some, or I'll try to find some. Okay, okay. Hold on a minute though. Let's do this. I've got this whole green area here. I'm not going to use any green, so I'm going to clean this out. There we go. And, oh, I guess the other thing I wanted to say was last week, we did this whole painting. And then you guys let me run away without doing a self-evaluation of my painting. <laughs> I, I got into the house after I was done. I took a deep breath. Woo I was like, oh, okay. And then I went, oh, I didn't do a self-evaluation. I didn't know how I did. <laughs> I'm going to mix in my new tray here a little bit of sepia. I really like sepia. And I'm going to mix some of this burnt umber. I really like burnt umber. And hopefully that gives us a, a nice, I mean, I know it'll be a nice warm brown, but it'll be a bit darker brown. And when we when we paint this flipper in here, I want the color to be just different enough. A rock right there that... That we know there's a flipper there, but the same enough that we know it goes right back behind. Look, I'm being very careful. Very careful. There we go. Ooh, I thought. <laughs> you tried to get me to evaluate, but I was in a hurry. I could have been. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes I I do it on my own. I, 
I feel like I put myself in a hurry sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will definitely do one tonight. Sherry, you thought I was using red iron oxide. Now, red iron oxide is a color that I have. I know I have that. And that's a wonderful color. It's a beautiful color. Um, do you use red iron oxide? I'm just curious because it is a bit of a difficult color to you. Well, as I remember, it's a bit of a difficult color to use. I haven't used it in a little while, but I do remember it being a lovely, wonderful color. Okay. Ha. Huh. Deep breath. Whew. I'm going to come back up here now. M. Graham, yes, I do have that. Uh, that was actually one of the first colors that I got. Um, I had a friend who ran a, a bookstore, and the bookstore had a bunch of paints, and they were getting rid of a bunch of paints, and he said, hey, if you want any of these, why don't you come by and, and get them? I'll sell them to you super, super cheap. Nobody else seems to want these. And I went, cool, I will be there in about 10 minutes. <laughs> and I bought, I think, almost every, almost every tube of paint he had. Uh, and um, there, were, there was that, which is what red iron oxide. And, uh, and then the other one was... Uh, transparent orange iron oxide so I have that also both wonderful uh, super interesting colors all right I'm just trying to just trying to build up a couple of layers here my tendency is to jump right in here and uh, add in a dark layer or <laughs> add in a layer that's too dark, I guess is the better way to say that. I'm going to try to build it up a little bit. We'll see how that works out for us. I think it'll be fine. See, this is going to go right around his eyeball here. Something like that. I guess we could give him a little bit on his nose up here too, can't we? There we go. He's going to look a lot better with a little nose up there. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I haven't I haven't either, but I have it. Okay. <laughs> you haven't used yours in a while, but you have it. It just looked, and some of my burnt sienas are PBR7 as well. You just really, some of your... That's always weird to me how two manufacturers can have the same pigments in probably similar quantities in different colored, um, different colored paint or different named. I, we don't know that they're necessarily different colors, but I do. I do think you're right. The Burnt Sienna has a more orangey or reddy feel to it. Azo Orange is PO62. Pigment Orange 62. That's correct, according to Google. I can uh, watch this. I can confirm that Azo Orange here, PO62, and my Burnt Umber Pigment Brown, PBR. Number seven. I actually love keeping track of the pigment numbers. I think it's, I think it's really cool that as watercolorists, we can, we can easily see the difference between different manufacturers, the the pigments they put in, how it turns out, and whatnot. Um, I don't know if you can do that with all other paints but I think it's really cool that we get to do that with watercolors I'm, I'm just trying to feel it's a little damp here I think what I'm going to need to do is 
uh, is come down to our rock down here and this is quite honestly this is where I'm having a little bit of trouble because <laughs> Sherry you got the mgram color chart I think uh oh I've got it here somewhere too oh uh oh I think oh no where is it Well, I don't know. I thought I had it set right behind my monitor here. I don't see it. <laughs> oh, uh, I forget what I was going to say. I don't know exactly how I want to do uh, these rocks. I think I'm going to start with just some blobs of color on here and see how that looks and we'll build up some definition from there right we can put some some bits of color here and I'm just gonna let the the color run out how it wants to and then we'll go back and wherever we see a dark blob then we'll make that um, a little different area in the rock I want to leave some. I want to leave some hard edges. I want to have some soft edges in here. I want to have a mixture of a number of different colors. I'm imagining this. When I look at that rock, and you can see down towards the bottom of it, there's definitely a lot of different colors in there, and a lot of different texture in there. And I just imagine that this is this is an old rock that's kind of been sitting out by the water for hundreds or thousands of years and it's been in uh, you know thousands of storms um there have been all kinds of uh sea life on it and around it for years and years and years it's 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 beat and worn and it's got these cool grooves in it and you know just a a lot of interest in this rock and i don't want to when I think about it like that, I don't want to force in, you know, some interpretation of the rock. And it, as I'm looking at it, just these little bits of interest in there really, right, very quickly. I got some cool things going on in here. And when you look at it, right, you look away, you look at it, um, you're going to, you notice the sea line. And all you do is you look at this and you go, there's there's something here with some interest in it, but you're not really, your eye, I don't want your eye drawn to detail down here. I want your eye to see the detail, excuse me, up here. Let's see. Um, Susie says, Da Vinci seems to to like PBR7 and Windsor, uh, Windsor Newton likes PR101. So those two must be pretty close uh, together, if everybody's if everybody's liking those colors, they must be pretty close. Must be pretty similar. All right, let's get let's get some nice burnt umber here. Michael, would you be willing to do a Highland cow? <laughs> uh, yeah. The really fluffy ones, I tried one today, but I couldn't get the face with all the hair right. F frustrating. Um, yes. Uh, give me one second. I want to show you something. I'm going to mix a little bit of ultramarine blue in with this brown. I want a nice warm gray. We can border it totally on the... Uh, totally on the the brown side nice warm gray and I'm gonna put this on his back Let's see this kind of goes all the way up here and I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the the red and orange on his kind of underside so I'm gonna put just a, a bead of this on here a line of this on here and then I'm gonna draw it down and if you're so disposed to do it that way you could um, you could do it the opposite, totally opposite way. You could get this whole area wet. 
and then you could put the color on and let the color do what it's going to do with with the uh, water pulling it down I just kind of um, as I've developed you know my watercolor style I just kind of learned to do it this way and not the other way but both ways will certainly work for you all right let me get this on uh, and then and then I do have to grab something there we go so he's got a nice gray looking back I don't want to get too wet I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to pull any of this color off give me one second <laughs> look <laughs> Um, Z, C, is this what you're talking about? This kind of a cow here? You can see I've drawn in a lot of hair over here, over his face. This is just a first pass. Um, lots of hair, lots of hair, lots of hair. Super frustrating. <laughs> I almost feel like you need to be a hair specialist, uh, to be able to, to be able to paint those guys. <laughs> But I'm willing to take a crack at it. I think it's fun. It, if I if I can learn something, if you guys, uh, even if I can't learn something, um, <laughs> maybe you all would be able to have a little laugh at how I tried. And and you never know. Uh, we'll probably get started with it, and you guys will go, "Hey, have you tried doing this? Have you tried doing that?" And one of us will figure it out and know how to do it and pass it along to the rest of us. So that'd be cool. Yeah, I'm totally willing to do one of those. Um, okay, so this is what I need to do. Okay. Whew. I'm going to mix up some sepia. And uh, maybe if I need to, I'll throw a little bit of blue in it. But I want to use that sepia down here on a flipper. And you could say, well, this is kind of backwards to the way that you, that other people would paint it or, you know, that you would think necessarily should be painting because I'm kind of starting at the bottom and working my way back up. Now I'm going to go with a little bit of this Azo orange, a dab of the, whoops, wrong one, dab of the alizarin crimson, a little bit of that burnt umber maybe you get that a little looser than it is and i want to just go right into that and start pulling out and letting these colors blend together in there if we need a if we need a, even a bigger shot of orange in there i should <laughs> i will tell you okay zc good you're saying that is that is the one you were thinking of that type of cow with a big long hair like that If it <laughs> if it seems like I'm throwing in a, an extra dash of color here or there uh, a little bit, I, I'll be honest with you and say I watched. I, I think I've told you all before. One of my favorite watercolor artists. Uh, his name is Alvaro Castagnet. And he's, he's a very impressionist painter. And when he uh, starts throwing color around, um, he just kind of throws it around uh, willy-nilly seemingly. A lot more willy-nilly uh, certainly than I would normally do. And he does a lot of putting color on top of color, which I initially never understood so I, I went just over the line there so i'm just kind of backing that off is what i'm doing there so he will he'll paint something most of his scenes he does a lot of street scenes or cityscapes many of them are dark uh not scary dark just color is is dark 
And he, he seemingly just goes, oh, you know what, we just need a little bit of color here. And he'll paint, I don't know, blue over something red. Or he'll paint red over something black or whatever. And I'm always like, how is, how is this ever going to work out? And I don't know how it does, but somehow his stuff almost always uh, works out and looks fantastic. And so uh, if, I, <laughs> if I feel like I'm throwing in a little extra color on some of these, it's probably because I, watched, I just watched somebody do it this week and I'm feeling a little crazy. <laughs> I'm feeling a little crazy. Who's here? Uh, did we see Bicycle Repairman is here? Hello, long time no see. I'm glad you can make it. Hope you're doing well. Uh oh, hey. <laughs> this is easy. Hello, Sherry. How cool you got to see one. Emily Olson Art did a quick video of a Highland cow four years ago. Okay. It's pronounced Heeland Cow. I'll totally take your word for it. Um, that's cool. They're they're extremely uh, cool to look at. Um, <laughs> I don't, I hope I can do it. I hope I can do it justice. Let's see, I'm gonna take off a little bit of this paint here because I think, yeah, I don't want it to get in and start creating a background. I didn't wait quite long enough. If I was using all cotton paper, I don't think I'd have to worry about a little bit of background right there, but I kind of do with the paper I'm using. And then I think as we move up here, Actually, I think this is progressing pretty nicely. This old little painting here. When we dry, we're mostly dry. Let's see, he's got... Yeah, he's got a couple of uh, areas in here that are a little darker and a little lighter. And I'm going to... I'm going to just... I'm going to attempt... I'm going to attempt to put a couple of these dark areas and light areas in here without <laughs> without messing too much up. Let's see, I think maybe a little bit more red and orange in here. Heeland. I love the Scottish. Oh, it's the oh, it's the accent that makes it a Heeland cow. <laughs> It's the accent that makes it. It's not necessarily that we're it's not that we're necessarily pronouncing it wrong. It's our accent isn't allowing us to pronounce it differently. I think is what you're saying there. That's what I heard anyways. Let's see, I'm gonna darken this right on down over here. Does that look anything like? <laughs> Sometimes I look at what I've done and I go, "Why? What was I doing there? Why did I do that? Did I, these go too low?" No, I think we're doing good. I think he's looking okay. I, I do think we're going to need a couple of lighter highlights on here. Uh oh, your mother! Oh, <laughs> your. <laughs> Your mom was Scottish, so I was visiting family when I saw the cow, and they told me it's a healing coo. <laughs> it's a healing coo. That's that's great. I <laughs> I hope you know I'm I'm saying it. I'm laughing in jest. I certainly don't want to. I, I just think languages are interesting and funny, and I'm not. I I don't mean any offense. <clears throat> anybody's certainly anybody's mom. I don't want to get in trouble. If my mom was watching and she thought I was offending somebody else's mom, she'd <laughs> probably come here and ground me. I just think language is language is such an interesting thing. ZC, you're saying the this guy's coming along. 
Thank you. It's so nice. So I, I go back and forth, right? Uh, between sitting in the old studio here and doing some painting. And uh, half the time I'm like, ah, oh, I'm just kind of sitting here by myself. I enjoy the painting. What am I going to do? <laughs> it's hilarious. What am I going to do for the, you know, I've got to find something to do while I'm painting. I, I just want to say it's nice uh, to be able to sit and talk <laughs> to, to some people who are going to talk or text as it may be. Or, or chat back with me <laughs> instead of me just sitting here and laughing at random things uh, all by myself, which uh, isn't always <laughs> isn't always the best thing in the world. Let's see. I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try to lift a little bit of paint off of here. So I'm going to go here. And here, this is probably a bigger pull than I need here. I actually don't think I need anything down here. I think that looks kind of cool the way that this kind of played out on its own. Uh, let's see. <laughs> My mom's favorite punishment was to ground me. I forgot all about that. <laughs> My mom, <laughs> My mom uh, grounded me a few times. And then I think she realized I liked being in my room. There's a lot of cool stuff in my room. I could read my books, had a basketball court up there. I had my own radio. Uh, what else was up there? I, mean, I had my models up there. I didn't do any painting at the time or anything like that, but I had all this cool stuff up there. I'm like, okay, cool, ground me. That's perfect for me. <laughs> I'll spend all day up here. See, I'm going to drop a little bit more blue in here, and I'm going to pull this out. I, I just want to make sure this guy's got a, a nice, um, nice dark underbelly. It's gone a little purple. I think that's okay. I'm, I'm, I can live with that. Let's give him a little bit more red up here. Actually, uh, you know, every every Wednesday I try to um, find a picture that I think I can reasonably paint in an hour. Right, that's my goal. What what do I think I can paint in an hour? Because if I paint in an hour, that gives me, you know, in half an hour, forty minutes to uh, jabber on about a few things whatnot <laughs> so, hopefully um you guys listen to me because <laughs> if not i'm <laughs> just kind of doing it on my own um you know, hopefully we can have a nice conversation and that hour then expands to uh you know an hour and a half or an hour 40 minutes and we get to to, to paint a, a nice thing and develop a nice painting um together going forward uh, and sometimes I pick it and I think um, I think oh man I've done this badly because I get to the hour mark and I go oh I got so much to do I think that's where I start to get a little flustered with things and start to speed up or whatnot this one I think we're gonna do really well on time with this guy um, and I'm enjoying painting him I'm enjoying the stream I always enjoy having you guys here in the studio with me who says a cool room Susie says cool room <laughs> I I I was I would I would spend so much time outdoors um, I'm not sure my mom thought that, knew that uh, sending me to my room would be such a cool thing. Uh, um, but I enjoyed that too. <laughs> 
send me to wherever. I'm one of those people, I, I like spending time alone. I like spending time together. I like, I always find stuff to do. Usually. <laughs> I always usually find stuff to do. Ooh, there we go. How's he looking? Okay, so now, okay, so that dark on the back back there now makes him look like there's, you know, a bit of dimension to him, right? Can everybody see that? I think. <laughs> Sudika is here. Hello, hello, hello. Getting late here, so I have to, re I have to rerun the video. Okay, that's cool, but thank you for stopping by. Thanks for saying hello. Always good to see you. I'm glad you said hello. Let's see, I'm going to grab, I've got black over here in the corner. Let me just mix this with a little bit of the paint that we've got over here. I'm going to quickly see if I can give him an eye here. See if I can do this without putting my head underneath the camera. I don't think anybody needs to see that. And I'm going to give him a little extra definition on his nose here. Always by the time you get to the eye, if you put in his eye and you can see it, there's always that little extra that you go, oh, okay, I can see it now. It's coming together. Actually, I think this guy's coming together quite nicely. I think he's going well. I'm going to enhance our stuff down here a little bit. And now, here's the other thing. So, I don't know, was it last week or two weeks ago that I said I was actively trying to figure out how much uh, water to use on my on my palette right and one of the ways I would I would check that is by how much it's run down my palette where's my finger it's run down because my my uh, my tabletop here is slanted and about five five degrees maybe eight degrees something like that not a lot, but enough to make the water run. And that first week that I had shifted my palette from one way to another, I don't know if you remember, I had a lot of trouble with the water running down and pooling up at the bottom down here. I just, I just thought about it. I looked down there and there's almost no pooling of color down there, which really kind of makes me... Um, happy to see that even though I've done some large washes on here, I haven't gone overboard with my color and it's still hanging in there pretty good. Okay, so cool. We got a little bit more. I, I don't want to, I don't want to take away this little bit here. I think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Sherry Zagan's amazing so far. Thank you. I have to figure out what to do next with him. <laughs> what do I want to change on here? What do I want to add on to here? Uh, okay, so let's take a minute. I like find something to point with. This is a good pointer. It's a different color. I like I like this flipper. I really like this flipper. I don't think this flipper looks anything like the flipper that's in the reference photo. But I really like it. This addition right here, that little bit of color, makes this whole thing look round, especially with that round on top up here. Makes this look round like there's a muscle in there or something, right? Like that's that muscle. And then there's a little bit of shadow and maybe a little something else here. And then the whole thing comes down this way. I love this line right through here. That really sets apart the dark from his back and the dark from his from his underbelly up there uh, and adds some roundness. I'm not super wild about the way this turned out. 
it it is kind of like that on the reference photo over there i'm not super wild about it but i don't hate it i can live with it you love the shading and the blending on his back back here how it just comes out gracefully i like this little bit here too this was a happy accident from the water here just left that little bit you can almost see that that's like his skull kind of extended over to here i really like that some happy fun things have happened here and it looks as though if you look at this it looks like that's a shadow line from underneath maybe the sun's coming from pretty high up here and that adds a shadow line right there and i didn't necessarily do that on purpose <laughs> so some really great things that the that the uh, that the paint has done for us that i didn't necessarily plan on doing or didn't do on purpose anyways um i always i love when things like that happen oh uh oh okay i was gonna say don't i tell you the why i'm why i added this shot of, oh and this oh and this is it here uh, I added that shot of color. I, this and that were the two shots of color that I added into here when I was painting. And it works. Somehow, some way, it hurts. Soften the creases a bit. I, I think you're right. ZC, I think you're exactly right. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to do that. And I'm trying to, and I'm trying to delay a little bit, honestly, because... Uh, when I when I touch this with my pinky, it's still slightly damp, and I don't want to do too much with it if it's going to be slightly damp, because I'm afraid <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to mess everything up if I let it get um, if I let it get dry. Then I know I can I can pick and choose and scrub, and I don't have to worry about a, a back run really. Let's see, the computer's having fun with. Uh, Su Studio. Oh, su oh, with Sudike's name. <laughs> Sorry about this misspelling. Yeah, the uh, auto auto correct is is having a little bit of a hard time. <laughs> I get it. Auto correct is auto correct is w w wonderful and horrible all at the same time. Let's see. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna, I've got a line in here that I'm not wild about. Let me take. Just a little bit of that out. You can see his ear up here. I'm gonna add just, I'm gonna add just a bit of gray. Let's see. I, I'm, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this painting. <laughs> I love it. I'm actually to the point now, or we're to the point now, where it's, it's little things, right? We're an hour into this. And we're talking about the little things that are going to make this better rather than a big thing that's going to make this better. And if we didn't do anything other than add some whiskers on here, I bet it would still look fantastic. Right? I, 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 I love this. Let's see. I, hmm. Okay. I, you know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, while I'm waiting for this to dry a little bit, I don't need any more water in here. I'm going to put on the whiskers from the far side of his face over there. And I'm hoping this is going to work out. <sighs> I'm not a hair whisker kind of a, a person. But I think, I, I think if we added a... A couple on here you can't even see there they are those are on the back side so I'm gonna add some white ones on the front side I'll tell you what I am gonna do is I put his eye on <laughs> you added Natalie you added Sadiqa's name to spell check so it's not gonna so it's not gonna do that again that's something I would do. <laughs> Let's see if I. Hmm. 
I'm going to add just a touch to his eye here and a touch to his nose. You probably can't even see it. I'm going to pick it up so you can. Now, I know we're going to need to do a little bit more than this, but this gets us started. Right? Just a little highlight in that eye. I can't put on the whiskers on this side because we might run some water up there. But I don't think there's too much more. I'm just going to go ahead and try this. Let's see. I'm probably going <laughs> to probably going to ruin this whole thing, but that's okay. I keep telling myself, you know what? If you if you've ruined the whole thing, right? Let's use ruined in these super quotes, right? Air quotes because because you know, we all judge our own art on a on a strange scale and we're all harder on ourselves than we need to be. Usually we're able to create something that looks really nice and everybody else thinks it looks nice and we we think it doesn't because we want to be hard on ourselves, but um, let's say we did something catastrophic to what we we're painting. We should be able to just go back and and uh, paint another one, right? Shouldn't be that big of a deal for us to do if we're if we're an artist of some sort. So he's got a little something around his arm here. Let's see if any of this helps or if I've made it worse, <laughs> which is always a possibility. See, I think I want to take, I think I want to pull a little bit of this out, this on this side. I think that's okay. And maybe, oh, this is where, this is where I need to make a decision. I like, uh, okay, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to tell you what I was thinking about doing. I'm not going to do it, though. I was thinking about drawing in, I, I don't know how much you guys can see. I have the, over here, I have the picture blown up a little bit, and you can almost see, like, fingers in that flipper. Uh, and I was going to put a, a quick line on there. I think I'm not going to do that, though. <laughs> I think that um, if I do that, I run the risk of losing some of the coolness that's on here. So I'm going to make an artistic decision to kind of let that be and not, not mess with it anymore. <laughs> Just because I want it to not get too weird. And I think we are so close to being done with this. If I hadn't, I think we can do this. I think we can do some white here for some whiskers. Let's see if we can do this. Ooh, this is where I need to be brave. Let's see, these whiskers pull down from up here to wow some of them come way down here well let's see how it goes okay be brave <laughs> maybe i need to be braver than that <laughs> I don't, i'm afraid to all right, come on. Come on, Michael. Let's give a little light on some of those on the back side. Maybe we can see a little bit of that. And I want to give a little color. Am I getting the white off on my brush? I want to give a little color to some on, on this side. Oh, a little darker. And I know that I definitely know that 
we need to put some spots up here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that looks bad. I don't think it looks quite right, but I don't think it looks bad. I'm going to hold this up here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you guys are still talking about Sadiqa's name. Natalie, yours shows it correctly in the chat when you scroll back. It's tough because, look, there we go. I put on a couple of um, whiskers there. Sherry, uh, Sherry, where were you five minutes ago, Sherry? Why didn't you say use a pen? No, <laughs> you would have used a pen. Uh, quite honestly, if I had a pen here, I might have. These are the only two white things I have on my desk, and I don't want to have to search through. This is a pen was not one thing I planned for on this. Probably, if I'd have finished my finished this one from yesterday um, by putting stuff on it, maybe I would have. Look, look, they're not too different. They're actually kind of the same. <laughs> So I think what I need to do, though, if 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 we're actually actually that little bit of white up here, I think really brings uh, really brings a face to life. <clears throat> what we need to do is, and this I could do with a pen, but I'm not going to because I feel like being a masochist. <laughs> Uh, what, what we need to do is get a little bit of, I'm going to mix this on my palette, a little bit of highlight on, on his body here, right? Right, we've got these low lights here, right along his, I'm going to say the neck or the side of his body. And they're okay being low lights, but if we want that low light to come out, we need a little bit of a highlight there too. So... I'm going to be brave and I'm going to keep a napkin close by just in case it doesn't work. <laughs> you see how I did that? <laughs> uh, let's see. So how do I do my, okay. I think I got it. Quick, 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 quick. I think that's a little much. I wonder how much, I don't use it enough. I wonder how much that's gonna dry back. It might be, for me, just a little too much. We'll just dab a tiny bit of water on there and let that pull it out. Kind of right down his flipper here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we could put on a little bit of a highlight. Maybe something here. I think I went right over what I wanted to do there. A little bit on his ear. Again, just touch his nose. Do we have any other... I'm going to put something like right, right here. We have that cool spot. So you can kind of see my madness here. I don't know if it's fully going to pay itself off. But I know you can see my madness. I think that's it. <laughs> I think you did a great job with the brush. I would have screwed it up, but <laughs> I probably screwed it up too. That's okay. That's okay. So this one, see now this is where this is where my inexperience with this white comes into play. Uh, right along his flipper here probably should be a fairly strong bit of white 
and it's just not there until I put a little bit more in and maybe I can do something like that. Oh, that's probably good. I think that's going to end up being better than it would have if I'd have put something dark in there. And let me give him one on the very end here too. That can be a little bit longer. There. Oh, that's I like that better. And a little extra, a little extra. Maybe I shouldn't have washed that out quite as much. Something here. Okay. <laughs> mm. Maybe this needs to come out this way a little bit more. That probably looks a little better. <laughs> Look at it through my phone. It really helps. <laughs> Look at it through my phone. I've created the only artwork that needs to be viewed specifically through a phone. I'm going to pull, I think I, I think what I did was I pulled this just over a couple of our low lights. Causing them, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I actually, I'm looking at that now. I'm looking at it on the screen and I think it looks pretty good. I really do. I have any more of this. Actually, I'm actually pretty happy with this. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> is that white gouache? If so, it darkens a little. This is white gouache. So I wouldn't typically use white gouache, but I'm not opposed to it. I'm not a super traditional watercolor artist, even though I guess I shouldn't say that because there were a lot of the old artists that used um, white gouache or a little bit of white. Now oh, I got it all over my hands for some reason. White watercolor. And so this is gouache. And I'll pick it up. Uh, this happens to be M gram gouache. It seems to be an excessively large tube, but so be it. Uh, titanium white. And um, I guess this is this is exactly what I bought it for was to do some highlights like this and I just need to figure out exactly how those highlights go on and how they stay on uh, as an example when I put it in really straight well that's small there we go when I put it in straight out of the tube look it it went on and it stayed pretty white but when I diluted it it, it really did. It got this kind of glossy, highlighty look, right? Maybe these aren't quite as large of folds as we thought. And then down here, there was some water here, and so this kind of settled back. But I actually kind of like that. This one's a little bit more. I actually am pretty cool with this. So I'm going to sign this here. And then we'll do some um, highlights, low lights. <laughs> ZC said it looks awesome. Thank you. Um, uh, and Natalie says, anyone working on their challenge daffodils yet? I'm not. I'm still deciding on my picture <sighs> because yellow is difficult. And so I might cheat and do a white daffodil with, a, <laughs> with an orange center. Um, even though I was thinking yellow to begin with, <laughs> I don't know yet. Oh, this would be a good pointer. Look at this one. This is what I, I bought this set of quill brushes a long time ago and I love this set. Um, but as I moved on to other brushes, I never, I haven't used it in a while. So I just pulled it back out to play with it. But, um, I love that it's got the, the end like this. It's easy to see. Okay. So, um, uh, goods and bads, right? So let's start with with uh let's start with the things maybe that i think didn't go quite so well with this painting and then we're going to end on a high note 
Um, and I think the good thing, Sherry, you got two done, but you might do some more. That's awesome. Uh, and before I, before I do this, I guess if anybody doesn't know, we've got, well, we've got 11 people here. You probably all know, but if, if anybody doesn't know, um, I do post a challenge on my discord server, uh, every month and we can all try it. And at the end of the month, I'm going to do my version of that challenge here on a Wednesday night. And so you all can, can take it and do it. And if you want to post it for everybody to see. Um, how great of a job you have done. That's awesome. Uh, if you want to do it and kind of keep it to yourself because you're not quite uh, brave enough yet to post it out there for everybody else to see, that's fine too. Uh, I would encourage you to do it and and then tune in or, or watch in replay uh, where you'll see me and everybody else talk through how we've done it and you can compare that to how you've done it and um, hopefully you'll gain a little insight and a little understanding from that. That's the, that's the goal anyways. And, and please have a little bit of fun with it. Okay. Whew. So some of the things I don't like about this quite as much. And, uh, I don't think it's going to be any shock to anybody. It look, as we've talked, this has lightened even further. So I just don't feel as though my highlights up here are nearly as good as they should have been. I, I, I wasn't brave enough to leave a full stroke of white on there, and I, I already had some diluted white, and then I touched it with a little bit of water again, and so that's my fault, right? This whole area right here, that's on me for not knowing how my tools operate, and I think I've got an assignment for the weeks to come, um, ZC, can you post it on, uh, Instagram? Absolutely. Uh, everything I post there, I post with the hashtag watercolors with Michael. You could post it with that and it would tag it along with everybody, everything else. And people could search on it and, and see it. That'd be awesome. Um, if you post it there and you tag it with watercolors with Michael, I will get notified and see it. So that'd be, that'd be super awesome. And if you don't do... Uh, Discord, that's fine. That's, I'm not, it's not a requirement. You don't get anything uh, bonus out of joining Discord other than maybe a little enjoyment of some shared uh, camaraderie in doing that. Um, so I think that really is all that I don't like about this guy. Things I do like, um, I, I like, I, you know, I said it before, I love this flipper. I love the color in his body here. I'm, you know, being a little bolder with the colors, even down here. I could have even been a bit bolder down here with a, a bit fuller, a bit more saturation of blue um, down just underneath and let that come out. But uh, if you just look at this, you've got some beautiful oranges and reds down here and the same thing here. And this, it goes from almost a purple here up to this orange up to this yellow over to this gray um it's it's a wonderful uh array of colors on this that that we kind of developed from not that many different colors on our uh on our palette i i actually love this line that runs up the spine of the picture well the spine of the picture but runs up the side of this guy it gives your eye an area to look at it and because it's winding your eye doesn't necessarily go i want to settle right there right it gives this a little bit of movement even though he's kind of just sitting in one place um another thing i like <clears throat> is i've got this background back here right sky a little bit of greenery tree whatever in the background back there it doesn't matter uh gradually changes color as it comes down here and then the water which i think this water helps to add as much depth to this painting as anything else darker back here lighter as it comes towards us right a little lighter blue up here the lighter blue is a little a little closer to us that darker blue gets pushed back uh, away 
So this little bit of the painting here, which is, doesn't seem like it's much, really adds a ton of depth to the painting. I really like that. And then I actually kind of like the way this rock, this rock, which I didn't have a great plan on how to do it to start with. I think that turned out really kind of interesting. And one of the things I used to do is uh, I used to always do something like this. Right? Somebody told me a long, long time ago, uh, if, you have a, if you have a picture like this, a painting like this, it's just kind of a picture. If you put a frame around it, all of a sudden, it gets 10 times better. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but you put a frame around it and it does, it looks better. Oh, it's a trick for everybody to use. <laughs> and as I'm looking at this, also... Uh, this difference here, right? This back flipper. I didn't do much with this back flipper, right? But it is, it's distinctly darker back here and then lightens as it comes out. And it looks like this is kind of underneath him there, right? It's a bit of darkness underneath. So uh, those are a couple of things I liked about this painting. Um, I hope you guys all liked it also. Let's see, we've, we've lost a few as we're getting towards the end of everything. If you haven't done so yet, I'm going to ask that you hit the like button. It's down there, probably. I don't remember. Might be down. I think it's down in that corner. Down there, that helps me out a great deal um, if I get more likes on things. Uh, now you say great choice of subject. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, um, I, I, I think this subject kind of chose me as, like I said, I was, I was walking down to the ocean, uh, over the weekend and, and there were two of these guys just a little bit, uh, you know, a little more than an arm's length away from me. Um, and that was, uh, that was fun to see. I, I love seeing these guys there. If you've never uh, seen a live sea lion, they are gigantic. They are loud and they are stinky. <laughs> but they're fantastic uh, all, this, all at the same time. So I think I posted my flamingo to Instagram too. Natalie, that's awesome. Uh, I think I posted mine to Instagram. If I didn't, I will. Uh, I put my flamingo from last month up in my office and I've gotten a whole bunch of comments about it. So that, that makes me happy. Um, I'm going to end it here. We've been going an hour and a half. Sherry, you have them there too. And I think they probably yours are the same as mine. Uh, Susan says, thank you. Your sea lion looks like a character in a picture book. Okay. I'll take it. I think that's high praise. Uh, so, until next week, thank you all for joining me here. Uh, I'm going to try to list you all. Susie, Sherry, Tracy, Bicycle Repairman, ZC. Um, who did I miss? I know Tom was here, right? Uh, Tracy, did I say Tracy? Sudike, Dana was here, is here. Oh, it's hard to go back through. Liza is here. So uh, if I missed somebody, I'm sorry. But thank you all for joining me and helping to make my Wednesday evening painting watercolors enjoyable. I will post what we're going to do next week, probably Monday, Sunday, Monday time frame. And until then, I hope you all have a great rest of your evening today. I hope you have a great rest of your week uh, this week. And we'll see you again real soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.